What's up, Duelist? Your boy is back, and we've got the Toto Gauntlet. For those of you who don't know, I play against Toto Gon. Of course, subscribe to Toto Gon at Toto Gon Plays on YouTube. Get my boy to a thousand so he can earn off of his based Edison content. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna play five matches with five different decks up against Toto Gon, and today I'm bringing five banger decks. Some decks from the past that I have cooked, some brand new lists that I have cooked, and some never-before-seen stuff. So stay tuned, watch all the way to the end, smash like, smash subscribe, let's get right into it. The first deck I will be playing is the Phantom Skyblaster Flamvel deck. The way this deck works is you try to get two Flamvels in the grave and then you're rekindling back two of them, preferably two Magicians. Normal Summon Phantom Skyblaster, get a bunch of tokens, and then you have a two-card really big power play from absolutely nothing. You can use Magical Stone Excavation to pitch dead Flamvels, get back Rekindling, or just to get back power spells like Mind Control, Heavy Storm, that sort of stuff. A lot of other power cards in this, like Honest, Chaos Sorcerer. Let's just jump right into things. Let's just go duel the boy himself. But yes, make sure and subscribe to Totogon. He does need 1,000 subscribers, and I mean it. If he doesn't get 1,000 subscribers, I will be very sad. I will be very, very sad. I actually will... Well, some of you guys might like that. How about, I will be very angry. I mean, that's no different from usual. How about if, hmm, if he gets a thousand subs, we'll do something really special. We'll do something, uh, we'll do something hype. I'm, I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Leave in the comments what I should do if Totogon gets a thousand subs. All right, all right. Just messaging him that I'm hosting. And while I'm doing that, don't forget to check the description below for the RBET signups. Really big Edison tournaments. Best prize pool, biggest Edison tournaments all year. Signups are going fast. They're filling up fast. So make sure you guys are signed up. By the time you see this, they may already be gone. Ooh, getting all spooky. Where, where, where's that boy? Where's that boy? Where's the Toto gone himself? Toto gone for the Toto gauntlet. Oh my gosh. He actually uploads some fire content. He's like, I like watching his videos. Because they're just like straight up like tournament VODs. Which is like, <laughs> that's what most people want to watch. Myself included. So, good luck. Have fun. Give him a little heart. Give him a little rock. Okay. Okay, little draw. A little friendly draw at the beginning. But I'm not switching. I knew it. I knew it, Total Gun. I knew it. I knew it. Alright, let's see what we got. Hopefully we have like, Lila Honest. That would be nice. Okay, not Lila Honest, but we have Lila Enemy Controller, which is kind of cool. So, I'll play that. And then, M Phase Mill 3. Hopefully, no? No Flamvels? <laughs> Never lucky. Never lucky. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Copium. Hopefully, he doesn't have, like, Brain Control, Mind Control. That'd be really bad for us. He would take the Lila, then pop our back row, but... He'd still have to have a way to get rid of the Lila if he did that, like a tuner or something. I think worst case scenario would probably be like that, specifically that. <laughs> uh, think on on effect to switch. I think we enemy controller take the monk. Yeah, I think we take it because I just don't want him to get rescue cat here. I think that's too bad for us. Then this guy switches to defense. So when he's normal summon or flip summon, change card defense position and starts a chain. Uh, that's really bad for us though. That's just like a hard minus two. Maybe it was better to let it resolve, but oh, of course we draw the D prison the turn after. That's so unfortunate. All right, well, we have a plan A, which is Lila attack. Hopefully this works. If not, we're in a we're in a really bad spot. We're in a pickle. All right, we have to clear the monk. Mirror force. That's tough. Now we have a plan B, which is mind control the monk. Hopefully this resolves. We can pitch the rekindling to go get Flamvel magician, and synchro off with the monk. He's probably thinking whether or not to solemn, but looks like he's going to let that resolve. Okay, cool. 
So I'll activate the monk. Pitch rekindling. Go get ourselves Flanville Magician. Now we are fucking losing by a lot. But we at least have some sort of meaningful something. I don't know. Solemn judgment on the Stardust. Okay. Cool. Well, set D prison and pass. I don't really want to take an Airbellum hit to the face. So I'm just going to set the D prison. If he's playing Monk, he's playing Cat. Oh my gosh. I am like. <laughs> I'm, I can see the future. I can see the future. I can see it. It's going to attack. We're going to go D prison. Hopefully this just works out. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, we could have dropped Gores there, but... That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. I'm going to try to just shove it. If he has D prison, goodbye fire dog. Book of Moon, all right. That's going to save him some life points and give us a plus one. If this dies, top deck rekindling is good. We are out rekindlings. We're both playing Flanvels. Interesting. Okay, a little bit of a Flanvel mirror match. How unique. That worked out well for him. Yeah, I was not expecting this. Uh, I guess we'll just pass with intent to drop Gores. We are still at 8,000. His mirror force is gone, so his outs to Gores are very few. Instant fusion. I don't I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So he's got the dark fire. This is going to allow him to make dark end dragon. He's going to make stardust dragon. Okay. Um, I don't think that that's as good as making dark end just because of Gores specifically. Okay, he's gonna assault mode activate. He has truly cooked. I think we lose. I don't think we can win this one. It's possible though. If we rekindling. Nah, I don't think we can win this one. That worked out poorly for us. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if Charge of the Light Brigade resolves. It should resolve. He m shouldn't negate it. <laughs> the mirror. The mirror. Okay, this is going to resolve. Yeah, this is going to get us Raikou. So Raikou isn't good here. But. It can possibly give us a lethal setup. I have basically one turn to, to top deck something that gets us out of this. And it's very unlikely we do. Just because of how, like... Yeah, how that could happen. Yeah. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, because he, like, attacks with assault mode. We go deep prison. He force negates. Yeah, now we lose. Because we don't have the Raikou right to force the negate. Oh, we do. He left us with the Raikou. Wow, that is not what I was expecting at all. I thought he would attack the Raikou for sure. Um, hmm. Well, then, I suppose we flip this guy. Activate target assault mode. He negates. Brain control for game. For the fans. One time? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, that was the luckiest fucking brain control. I hit him with enemy controller, mind control, and brain control. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, that was so lucky. Holy shit. That was a lucky one for sure. I think we go with Thunder Kings. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. I think we go compulsory, I guess. Fucking, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is not a matchup I expected. I'll say that much. Lila is pretty bad in this matchup, as is Lumina. So we got to swap those for some Thunder Kings. 
I can't believe we're playing the mirror match round one. Of all the different decks we could have picked, <laughs> we're playing the mirror. That's so funny. Honestly, trying to think what else we would cut here. Magical stone into assault mode seems pretty bad. I'll cut one of those. Phantom Sky Blaster is not amazing in this matchup, but it's probably fine. Maybe it's just another Lila. Yeah. Hmm. Do we want Dust Shoot? We're going second? Soul Release is good. Wait, Soul Release can counter the Assault Mode. So we like force the negate and then we can soul release him. That's actually pretty strong. I think we'll cut mirror force. Weird as that sounds. Cause it's like just terrible against all of his stuff. Like he probably has Lila Ryko, that sort of stuff. And then he also just doesn't care if the flamevels get popped. And then he also is definitely going to make Stardust. So it's just like, just a lot of terrible shit for us. Um, when it comes to mirror force, this hand is interesting. It's not bad. Uh, this mirror match is also interesting. It's kind of a unique situation. Okay, Fire Dog is scary, of course. It's a terrifying terrier. It's not really a terrier, is he? What kind of dog is Flamevel Fire Dog? Beautiful. I hope I'm Miller Rekindling. That would be ideal. Nope. Never lucky. Okay, I guess we get Lila. Or do we just get another Raikou? I'm a little bit nervous of him, like, being able to deal with this very easily, but it's just what can you do, man? Yeah, like, if he makes Assault Mode, I kind of just fucking lose. Like, I don't. I don't have the means to win the game through a Flamvel Assault Mode. Not Flamvel Assault Mode, Stardust Assault Mode right now. I I just, yeah. <laughs> he just goes Summon Magician. I'm like, all right, you got me. GG's. We'll go next. Oh my gosh. We got five matches ready for you guys. I'm really excited. Some of the decks, one of the decks I haven't even played before, but I think, in theory, it's really sick, so... I'm excited to show it off. He's deep thinking here. There's a lot of deep thinking happening. Which means there isn't a slam the magician. Dust tornado? Well, all right. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't do that M phase. Maybe he like didn't know he wanted to till his turn. Ah, rescue cat. That's pretty fucking good. I will not lie. That is really, really good. But we're still in the game somehow. So Raikou's going to activate. We're going to pop the fire dog. Mill three. Terrible mills. Like actually the worst mills I've ever had in my life. He's going to rip two cards from our hand, which does suck. But... Our hand's not great. <laughs> like, my hand, I was going to rip my own hand anyway. So, the fact that he's, like, hitting the cards in my hand is, like, fine. What is he typing? Second closest to main deck. All right, he hit the Magician. He's going to lose both Airbellum unless he has a Rekindling. But then he's forced to burn his Rekindling, which... I'm okay with. Please hit double magician. That'd be so funny. Middle. Okay. That's also fine. I mean, this card was going to be completely dead, uh, given my hand. So. Yeah. It just didn't line up right. If he has rekindling, he can make like an herbellum. Or if he has an instant fusion, he can make an herbellum, which is pretty good. So he has a lot of ways to sort of. I guess he can instant fusion a five. Make a Stardust, and then go into Assault Mode. He's going to use Assault Beast. Huh. Wonder why. He could book one of these Air Bellum to keep it around. I don't know if that'd be worth it for him, though. 
in end phase is this legal starlight road uh no no because the destruction is uh resolution not uh, activation yeah interesting though interesting it's not an effect to destroy them no nah, it's like part of the original effect I think I'm pretty sure that's how it is I've encountered this before weirdly enough um, but yes yeah okay Thunder King is useful and I, I do have to summon it so I'm gonna try and I am gonna attack We know two of his set cards, most likely. We don't know the third. Oh, thinking on summon. He might solemn this. I don't think this is a terrible solemn, just because, like, he can't make a synchro under this, and not much of his dudes can get over it. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good solemn for him. I think that's a smart solemn. Uh, that's a good play. Okay, new back row, frustrating, but could be a lot worse. Soul release. I want to hold that, but that may fucking punish me. God damn it. <laughs> I'll just pass. This is really stupid. If you top decks rekindling, I'm I'm dumb as shit. I deserve to lose. That is rough. Okay, uh, it's not rekindling, but that's pretty brutal. Okay, he makes Stardust, and then he has Soul Mode activates now. What? Why would you not have Soul Mode activate anything? Anything before damage. He should have Soul Mode activate now. Just use the assault mode. Just use the just use the assault mode activate. Just use it. There's there's literally no reason not to use it. Yes. Oh, I guess he could be saving it to blink the stardust, but I mean, I have no cards and he's got a stardust dragon assault mode, so. Alright. I will try to pop one of his back row. All right, he negated. He gets it back. We don't have DD Crow, we have Soul Release. Unfucking fortunate. Alas. Dude, you've gotta be fucking kidding me! All right. All right, L3. He'll go to 1900. Oh, battle phase. Attack. Do you have a deep prison or something? We have to do this and like basically hope he negates the, uh, the draw effect. Effect to draw. Oh my god, he is not biting. That was insane. Well. At least we've got something to get rid of this guy. Or at least try to. Okay, he's going to negate the sorcerer. Okay. He's got to tribute the Starbucks dragon, though. Hmm. All right. 
that's going to resolve. One, two, three, four, five, in case he plays Avarice. And then we'll pass. Both of us saw the flammable package, and one of us thought to do something good with it. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you have been crushing. I've been getting insanely lucky. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just getting insanely lucky. Like, the top decks were just fucking... I'm dead here to Assault Mode Activate. He just attacks, and then Assault Mode Activates. If he has a second one in deck. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. Alright, we gotta set mag. Hope he doesn't top deck a monster. Please, not like this. That was a good heavy storm top deck. That's a pretty good monster. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's got Starlight Road. I'm glad I tied out the Merit Force. We have yet to resolve a rekindling, which kind of sucks. I do think Magical Stone Excavation is kind of ass, but at least it can get back like Soul Release or something. Um, Probably vibing the Book of Moons because it could stop Stupid Summoner Monk. I probably need True Nade, and I probably need Dust Shoot. So... Probably cut the magic stone, cut a sky blaster. Sadly, I would like to actually utilize him. I like the honest still quite a bit. Um, Necro Garden of Plague are both terrible draws. However, we must maintain. Actually, without the magical stone, they're both pretty bad. I'll side them both out. We'll just do like a really light monster count and just hope to. Draw Rekindling and Mill Flamvels, I guess. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. We've got Ryko Bottomless. I'm just going to go set Ryko... Set Bottomless. I mean, one thing I'm worried about is is if I set Heavy Storm, he mind controls a Ryko, he flips and pops a back row. That's pretty bad. Just set one pass. Okay, Magician's not bad. I'm kind of on board for, like, Summon Magician attack. He might have, like, Brain Control or something, which would be annoying. Alright. Just pass. Let's see if that's a Dust Tornado. Interesting. My hand is very good. It's just like pretty reactive. Like Storm and Mind Control are pretty reactive cards, so it's not like perfect by any means. Okay, two more back row is good for me. Because that means I can take a 50 50 on a Starlight Road. Bottomless, okay. Interesting. Terrible mills. <laughs> Just genuinely garbage. I'm gonna make Goyo Guardian, I think. I don't want to leave my monsters in play. And Goyo Guardian is a lot of damage. So, we'll go 28. Wow, that was a really lucky Raikou snipe. I'll set the judgment and pass. I'm looking to use my back row before and phase does the judgment. Interesting. Okay. Good thing I didn't set the heavy or use the heavy or whatever. Ryko the middle one. I knew the middle one would be chainable, so there was no like craziness. The nice thing about Goyo Guardian is if he books it. Um, he can't, like, fire dog over it. He can still deal with it in other ways, but can't fire dog over it, which is pretty key for us right now. 
We still have Monk Mind Control Spell or Monk Heavy Storm Spell, which is nice. This is cringe. I do not like this at all. This makes me very sad. Because not only is this a hand rip, but we're losing our Goyo. And I need my hand. Like, my hand is good. So, no, this is just bad. I just probably fucking lose now. We have nothing really going for us. Unless we top deck, like, Fire Dog for Arcanite. So he's pitching Rekindling. He gets Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat gets double Air Bellum. Or he can get Magician straight up and just make Dark End pop. But I think that this is a little bit better. It's a little bit riskier, though. Because if I have Flamevel Magician... Or not Magician, sorry. Fire Dog. Fire Dog can run over the Arcanite. So... And there's really no reason for him to summon it in defense. Like, you might as well summon it in attack and get the damage. Because Fire Dog runs it over either way. And that's kind of, like, what you're worried about. He's going to Air Bellum. He's probably going to hit the Monk. That is unfortunate, but that's a dark for our Chaos Sorcerer, which is nice. Right, he's going to lose the Air Bellum. Set back row pass. Fire dog one time, question mark. Nah, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Does he have the assault mode activate? That'd be really good. Oh, he's thinking about whether or not to book. I'll take Thunder King. Thunder King, pretty good in this matchup. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's actually he's doing some work, so no complaints here. <laughs> Why can't he have a 2,000 booty? Yeah, he would be really good with 2,000. I think he'd be crazy good. Uh, as it stands, he's a little bit weak too. Just things that are stronger than him. <laughs> that's, yeah, I guess that's the bane of every Light Sworn, or not Light Sworn, but um, every, I said Light Sworn because I was reading Raiko, every Yu-Gi-Oh monster entirely. Set pass. If he has Fire Dog here, I get fucked, but he can still figure it out, hopefully. Ideally, ideally, he doesn't have Fire Dog here. Why can't Thunder King have 2,000 defense? God damn. Oh, yes, this is what I like to see. I'm just going to fucking take a 50-50. I don't even care. Nice. Nice. Let me cook. Let me cook. Is Mirror Force gone? No. Sag. All right. 19. Cool. All right, pass. I could have gone for it. I'm just bad. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard now, though, because we got mind control into Fire Dog for game. And if the last set is bottomless, then I can go mind control, Fire Dog, Chaos Sorcerer for game. So I think I randomly win, which is cool. All right, we'll take 17. Sadly, we don't have Honest, but alas, here we are. Do I mind control or do I fire dog? I guess I normal fire dog first. Is this okay? Interesting. So he might have a book. I'm gonna do this to play around book. Damn, close one. Close one. Dogs. <laughs> GG's. Okay, next match next match he said he'd dm me his deck list so i could pull it up in between so i'm gonna see if i can uh i can pull that up for you guys as well that was our first deck list it kind of went off without a hitch kind of went off pretty well the next one we're going to be playing is going to be uh classic chaos gemini 
<laughs> not a classic at all. I haven't revisited this in a really long time, but it's a deck that I think is sweet and deserves to be revisited for various numbers of reasons. I, I think the biggest reason is just that it's fucking cool and makes me ha happy. -j. Happy? -j? Is that... Is that a term that is used? All right, this was the deck list that Totagon just played us with, so you guys can get access to a nice little uh, deck to net deck for for your uh, for your home. Now, looking at this, a lot of back row. I think in my list I play less back row, and I play like Etelli and Cyber Dragon and Oracle of the Sun. I think I play like maybe just Solemn. But yeah, Torrential Tribute doesn't make a whole lot of sense with the Soul Mode Activate. Because you don't you want to summon him and then just like have him on board. Anyway, this is the list we're playing. The way this deck works is you got lights and darks, and you can tutor them out of your deck using Reinforced Truth into Gemini Soldier. So he gets you access to either lights or darks. Future Fusion gets you access to both. That turns on Chaos Sorcerer. Ultimate Offering has a lot of applications in this deck, mostly with Caius, Grandmole, Breaker, all the Gemini monsters as well. And then we get to play Royal Oppression to lock our opponent out of Special Summoning, and then we just have a really strong cast under Royal Oppression. Unlike the other Gemini decks in the format that play Giga Plant, this one is a lot less prone to bricking. It's still prone to bricking. Um, but, but, a little bit less, because you don't have fuck-ass Giga Plant. And instead, you just have, like, good shit. All right, good luck, have fun to Totagon. This time I will pick paper. I am, I'm so lucky today. I'm so lucky today. I, I actually have been getting so lucky, it's not even funny. I'm not even like playing better. <laughs> I'm just getting luckier, which is nice. Opening hand has the future fusion. We have spark with no Gemini. That's legal for the spark here, unfortunately. Um, we could lead on normal breaker. Fortune favors the sexy. Hey, this is a tricky one, man. It's just fucking tricky. I think I do want to get my monsters in play. But I am uncertain. I'm going to send the light and the dark. Just so if we top deck Chaos Sorcerer, it's live. So I'll no normal grandma and I'll just pass. I, it's maybe worth not. Activating Future Fusion, just because that way we have six or seven Gemini in our deck, eight if you count Rota, that can turn on our Gemini Spark. But I think it's fine, just getting it down early, and then that guy, if the Raptonist sticks around, we can uh, use the Gemini Soldier with his effect. And we have a lot of time, because Grandma buys us time. Well, that's pretty bad for us, but alas, here we are. Yeah, that's pretty bad. This is like worst case scenario. Well, we're going to give him another gear frame activation, which is unfortunate. He's going to pitch a gear frame. Makes sense, because he's going to get a gear frame. We could also not. Hmm. If we let the Grimwald die... No, I think it's better to use the grand mole because then we can like bounce the stupid fucking fortress too so still getting our value if he hadn't summoned the fortress this would be a lot worse for us but because he summoned it like you can at least try to grand mole it i guess that's an okay draw I'll, like help us at some point i don't know when but eventually perhaps hmm I think I just breaker pop. I think I just breaker pop, try to keep the back row clear. If he has bottomless, I lose. Like, there's nothing I can do. Book of Moon. I'll take it. Now, do I banish a fortress? If I banish a fortress and he goes to good frame, special fortress, he attacks over the sorcerer. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to. Where does that sound? I don't even like my hand. So, like, <laughs> I am perfectly okay with doing this. I think that this is totally fine. My hand sucks. Like, 
I will trade a random card in my hand to banish this fortress. I think that that is absolutely fucking worth it. Like, super, super worth it. He should take, weirdly enough, Gemini Soldier, I think. Unless he has a way to out Raptinus next turn. This is an interesting matchup for us. I know I have at least one Cyber Dragon on my side deck. I might have two. I'm not sure. That hands is nuts, holy shit. It's interesting. The cards don't really... They don't really add up right. Like, Gemini Soldier doesn't really work with Spark. Unless I get the Raptinus out. Because this has to be level 4. Yeah, I think this is the correct take. And that means he doesn't have an out to the Raptinus. Which is good for me. Alright. Power of Future Fusion. Kinda giving us the powerful Chaos Sorcerer. Our deck's doing its powerful thing, but... His deck's doing his powerful thing, and I don't I just don't think we can beat that. I'm gonna be honest. I think this still just clears. Because then he clears my board. I get wrapped in this, but I have nothing to go with it, and it's just kind of Jover. Okay, so he's playing Light Machines. Really interesting. I like Cyber L Tannin a lot. It's a cool card. We're gonna take 200 here. We're gonna lose the breaker as well. Hmm. No, this is bad. This is genuinely bad. I think we just lose outright. I mean, probably should have... No, I guess equipping is silly. So we get wrapped in this. Uh, Mole bounces Fortress. Wrapped in this runs over gear frame. So, let's start with the Raptinus play first in case he has Trigodia. And then we have to choose. And then I'll mole bounce. And then main phase two. There really isn't a reason to play into Heavy Storm, but I will. I'll pass. This guy's pretty good. He's pretty good. I considered playing a Dragon's Mirror in this build, but like really the only way to get it live is Future Fusion, like super quick. Otherwise, it's like not that good. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should play Dragon's Mirror in Gemini. But it's just really hard to get that card live. The other version of Gemini needs its graveyard more though. This deck, the only thing it needs graveyard for is Chaos Sorcerer, which we've already used. So... At this point, the graveyard's kind of pointless. So just having Dragon's Mirror is like an extra, like, wrapped in this late game is pretty good. I didn't even see what he searched. What did he search? Elemental Hero Prisma. Wow. Okay. Strato Search. That's pretty strong. Can this search a machine? No. So he's got two Prismas in hand? Interesting. Two Prismas. Dude, my hand fucking sucks. <laughs> this hand is so ass. I guess I just normal this shit and like try to fucking do something. I don't know. This isn't ideal. Hopefully no gores, I guess. I don't know. Man, this is so silly. 11 cards in. Only the one Gemini, but he did get hand ripped. That was a very good take from him, I think. I think taking the Gemini Soldier was, was correct. Like, even though Granville's gotten like a fuck ton of value, I think it's still just correct to like cut me off of my engine, basically. Okay, there's the Force. So this is Machina Fortress, which is fine. We have Compulse for this. Which I think I will do, but I won't do it till the battle phase. Uh, we'll just say the summons, okay. Prisma can send Cyber Dragon, which we get L10 in live. He'll attack. I'll just compulse that shit. I don't want to deal with it. 
man. This is a tough matchup. Set monster. Gremel can bounce that. Reinforce truth. There we fucking go, finally. Oh my gosh, some actual action. Let's go. Gremel bounce. And then 2200 direct. In phase two, set truth, normal mole, pass the turn. The mole is actually cooking. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have normaled it in case he has Cyber L Tannin. Okay. There's the fortress. So he, has, he still has double Prisma in hand. We are going to lose Dat Boy, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And Battle, I'm going to go Reinforce Truth, Special Out, Dat Boy, and then I'll Ultimate Offering, pay 500 to Normal. And then, yeah. Let him do his thing. Set monster pass. Okay, so we can use Grandma to bounce this dude, which I'm gonna do because fuck it, we ball. Grandma bounces, soldier attacks. We're gonna take some damage, but we'll get a guy from our deck. Okay, so the soldier will activate. Um, I think mine is first. I'm pretty sure. Let me read. Once per turn, if this card battles after damage calculation. Oh, sorry. Yours is first, but mine will resolve. It says after damage calc. Dude, why is it lagging so fucking much? Bruh. I just want a game with my fucking boy. But Dueling Book is vice gripping my balls. Jesus Christ. Don't forget, sub to Totagon. Thousand subscribers. If Totagon hits a thousand subscribers, I will personally... A thousand subscribers. What is going on? Reconnecting... Suck my balls. The fuck is this? Bro. Kidding me? Lost connection? Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, what the fuck? Oh my. Dude, that was a fucking awesome game. Fuck dueling book. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. We actually were able to reconnect. We were actually able. I am here. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We are here. We are here. We are back. Wow. Wow. That was close to disastrous. Close to disastrous. Oh my gosh. Actually, Pog. Man, I hate Dueling Book. So basically, you target and pop, and I get a dude. I think I resolve after calc, but we activate same time or some shit. I don't fucking know. Target offering. All right, cool. That's fine. And then I go get probably Valk because it's just better. And then hit for 18. Main phase 2. Do I know his hand? Uh, he has like a machine of fortress or something, right? Um, I guess because of L Tannin, it's best to normal summon. Normal. Add the counter. Make it 2100. 
set spark, set force, pass a turn. Uh, if he has heavy storm or L10, and it's like pretty bad for me, but otherwise we're like okay. I think I think if he has heavy storm, we chain spark. Okay, set set. That's perfectly fine. I'll go M phase, pop the back row, draw a card. Very nice for us. Royal oppression gonna be key here, um, but we just have a game with the mole. That is such a crazy save. Oh my god. Oh my god. Aw, oh, thank god that we were able to reconnect. Holy shit. Hey, okay, Cyber Dragon, Thunder King, both really good. Um, let me see. My buddy's messaging me about Pokemon. The Rare Hunter's messaging me about Pokemon, which I've been grinding the fuck out of the last week because I've been anti-Yu-Gi-Oh pilled because the new Pokemon format is so amazing. I love Yu-Gi-Oh, don't get me wrong, but... Man, the new Pokemon format is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, Brain Control seems like it doesn't do anything in this matchup, so I'm going to cut it. I I don't know. Maybe it does, but maybe it doesn't. Dust Shoot seems good. All our trap cards seem good. Solemn might be a little bit ass. I'm going to cut Solemn. I'm going to cut one of our dudes, too. This guy doesn't seem very good. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Let's do these. I could probably cut Rhoda. Rota only gets Warrior Lady. It also gets Soldier, but like, am I ever searching Soldier? Let's be real. Breaker seems like he has applications. Let's do Breaker over Rota. That seems a little bit more badass. I love Breaker the Magical Warrior. He's so fucking tight, dude. He's so fucking dope. He's him, dude. I'm insane. I, I can't believe I reconnected and this is what God gave me. I deserved this. I deserved this. I deserved this. I actually deserved this. I actually deserved this. Holy fucking shit. I'm him. I fucking deserved this. Let's fucking go. This hand is fucked. It's so fucked up. Oh my God. I can't even believe this is real. I can't even believe this is real. This is such a fucked up hand. Holy shit. Who let me do this? Who let me cook? Bro. Bro. No. We're sparking. We're spark. I could have saved the spark, actually, to be honest. <laughs> but we're out here. I'm going to future fusion. I'm going to reveal Ravager. Dude, my hand is fucked. My hand is so fucked. This hand should be banned. Like, every card in my hand should be banned. Straight up. I like the Endymion, I like the Valk, but I'm just going to send one of each, I don't think it matters too much. Set Reinforce Truth, set Dust Shoot, pass a turn, flip the motherfucking Dust Shoot, baby, hey yo, oh my gosh, Skill Drain, fuck, <laughs> I have nothing for that, I guess we take Fortress. The Ryko book, force to drain. Well, we just win. If he flips drain, we win. If he doesn't flip drain, then we win. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Easy clap. I don't like him having two back row there, but. What's my game here? Reinforce truth. Just to get him out of the deck, I feel it's the best. Breaker! That will at least force something. Hmm. But what will it force? I guess Gemini Soldier already forces the book. Does Grammel force the skill drain? No, he just fucking books Grammel. This sucks. What happened? Affect to gain counter. Let me have this. Let me have this, Totagon. Let me have this, please. Please let me have this breaker. Book. Fuck. 
don't mill fortress don't do it don't mill fortress all right there goes our raptness riptness more like thank god wow i luck sacked him so hard <laughs> a terrible mills for him he would have loved any of those cards maybe not dust you but any of the other two Oh my gosh. Skill drain and light sworn machina. Man, that's fucked. Okay. Well, I know it's skill drain, so I guess I'll normal summon soldier to force the skill drain. Normal. Okay. Battle phase attack. He flips drain. Understandable. Takes 500. And then 1600. And then we set Reinforced Truth, which does fuck all, but maybe we can get somewhere here. My hand is not very good against whatever's happening here. I need a Gemini Spark. That's what I need. That would be ideal. Although he has another drain, so it's like... Bruh. You know? That doesn't fucking do anything. Come on, man. Alright, we can't play into Mirror Force or Torrential, so we just have to swing with both. He's take like 5. Let's see if he takes 16. Okay, he does. Good shit. Set the offering past the turn. So there's something we can do if we draw double Caius. We can... Offering a bunch of times, sack Caius for Caius at a higher chain link. Using offering and then use the blinked Caius to, the sacrifice Caius to target skill drain. Which would be funny and silly and haha. -ha. It would be a real haha -ha moment. I may shotgun this reinforce end phase because I think it's another skill drain. So I'm going to shotgun this. Grab the other little dude. Compulsory is good. That's a good card. I'm not going to try to end the game right now. Because I don't want to run into Mirror Force still. Now he can't use the other skill drain if he has it. And we can just pass. And then if he tries to make a play, we can compulse it, and then we can win. So, that's the game plan. l and Machina Force is a lot of bricks. All three gear frame in the grave is hilarious. That is so funny. Goddamn. My hand was fucking insane in this game, by the way. I had Spar Live Spark, Future Fusion, Dust Shoot, Grandmole. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this deck is crazy. It's so cracked. Set Monster. Miracle Fusion, I think. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, Stratos. Goodbye, Gearframe. Hello, Gaia. That's okay. Cyber Dragon. That's pretty good. I should have attacked first to play around. Mirror Force. My hand was so insane. Wait till you see the VOD. I had Future Fusion, Dust Shoot, Grand Mole, Live Spark, Breaker. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he drew, yeah, he bricked. I have That was an insane game. I don't think I've ever gotten that lucky in my life. Then you milled. Then you milled double gear frame. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I, I needed a fraction of this luck to actually win this. Okay, GG. Next, next. You'll win next. <laughs> next, I'm playing some garbage. <laughs>
Actually, it's pretty sick. It's a deck I've never played before. Though. Well, I've played variations of it before, but I've never played this exact list. And it's a Dark World Volcanic Quick Draw, <laughs> which is as satanic as it sounds. Uh, but we're just going to give it a shot. We're just going to try it. I'm not going to explain the list too much until we're actually gaming. You guys will see how it works. Um, but I'm just really excited to show this off because this is a list that it, it's perfect for the Toto Gauntlet. Let's see if Toto Gaunt send, sent us his um, his deck list. I know he had been intending on sending us his lists in between rounds. Let's check this out. Um, moment. Moment, everyone. Moment. No. Nope. That's okay. We'll just keep playing. Good luck, have one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna pick scissors this time. I've picked it one of each. He's not ready for the mix up. Or maybe he'll be ready for the mix up. This might be the first 3-0 because I realized I'll have two really bad decks that I need to win with now. <laughs> no, this deck is advanced garbage. <laughs> but if it wins, it's so hype. <laughs> okay, we're going back to scissors. We're going back to scissors. We'll see whose deck is worse. It's gotta be mine, right? I win I won every RPS. Oh my god, it's just not Totogon's night. It's just not his night. <laughs> I feel so bad. Sacking your boy. Okay, this hand is terrible. <laughs> but <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. It'll be alright. Copio. Um A fortune favors those with a fat question mark? Four asterisks. <laughs> hmm, what could it mean? <laughs> what could it possibly mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad this video was salvaged. Because there was some. Oh my god, don't set like five, please. Don't do it, Totogon. Don't do it. I hit the reckless. Well, my hand isn't good. So, we just got to beat down. There's only one way into this. I have no engine. I just have all, like, fucking removal and shit. Uh, I didn't mean to set that, but... Alas, here we are. He's probably playing Chain Burn. Dude, come the fuck on. Holy shit. Okay. 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 Um. Fuck me, man. Hit for a thousand. Kind of want to pop one of his cards, but just pass. I'll let him get another draw in it. I want to draw Caius. That'd be like my best draw, I think. Caius or... Quick draw would be pretty good. That is just fucking terrible. That does nothing right now. Thousand beats. Thousand beat battle fader. Okay. You can have this one. You can have this one, Totagon. Alas. You can have this one. What is this? Dude. Caius in the Battle Fader Reckless Greed deck. Oh, Compulse Target Sangin. He's playing main, main deck Caius. What the fuck is he playing then? With Reckless Greed. Is it just Chain Burn with Caius's? Like, that's not bad. It's just not what I expected. All right, we're going to have to figure something out here. Because my hand is, is not good. 
Hmm. Special gesture comfy. It is chamber with main deck highest. Okay. If summon this way during your opponent's next end phase, target one phase up monster your opponent controls. Turn both his target and the target. Okay. So it's just chain burn with main deck dudes. Man, that would have been nice last turn. Uh, Let's start things off with the allure. Because that will give us the best idea of what we want to do. Gold. Who do we want to banish here? Sangin gets us quick draw, which is pretty important. But Gorge doesn't do anything unless we take a shitload of damage, so I'll banish Gorge. Um is there a reason to Dark World Lightning right now? No, not really. We should just heavy storm. He'll figure out his chain links now. So Wabaku's one. Okay, that protects the Jester. Ceasefire's two, so that's a thousand. Legacy, three, four, five. Okay, so you're going to draw three cards. Okay. And he's going to be draw locked. We'll take a thousand. You know what? Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. There's only... Targets face up monsters, so I can just set Sangin and pass. And this will be one out of two reckless. Um, pass the target face up, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at 46 versus burn, which is never really where you want to be, but at least we have one extra turn to find something. And we can maybe start to counter offense here in a second. He may not attack. He sets and then passes. Okay. Interesting. Let us hit one of his back row. I'm just going to target that one. If he chains it, then we won't have to discard. But if he doesn't chain it, then we will have to discard. Okay, secret barrel. So that's two, four, six, eight. We'll take 1,600. He'll draw one, and then he'll draw three. Okay, we'll take 1,600. He draws. It's totally fine. I'm trying to think about how we want to play this. Sack this guy for gold. Sang in search. Go get quick draw. Uh, quick draw effect. Pitch dandelion special. Get two tokens. Now if we make nitrous boy how, how does that fuck work work it does some good shit this card attacks a monster by battle you can target one face of defense position monster change it to attack position this card can attack again okay is there any way we can avarice first no no chance all right well we can still make nitrous boy and then uh deal a fuckload of damage hopefully enough to win the game He'll take 400. Switch that guy to attack. Change it to attack position, and then I can make a second attack in a row. So I'm going to deal 28 and then 23. He's going to survive at 50 something. Do I take more damage? He switches your guy, then attacks it. So it's 2,800 more. So that's, that's, yeah. And then, uh, not 38, not 38, just 28, or 28. 
he only gains if I use a spell uh, when he's in play. Yeah. Yeah, and then I attack for 23. So he's alive, which is a s good for him. Then we'll pass. This deck really needs to draw a quick draw. This is two out of two for Reckless. We may die. If he just has, like, that one card that, like, reversals the attack. We may just lose. So, that being the case... Trying to think if there's a way we should, like Avarice or something. Foolish sends anything. I guess it would send Dandelion in this instance. Um, I'll just try to win. Fuck it. Damn, that was close. All right, this matchup's probably good because we got Decree. Like that's about as good as it's gonna get as far as sideboard options goes consecrated can stop battle fader and caius but I mean, book is good jar is really not the one here <laughs> obvious reasons dark samorg is hilarious in this matchup the volcanic monsters i might want to side out all of them but I don't know if that's like ideal. We may have to leave these in. But let's see if we could bring in four more cards. Cyber Dragon eats Cyber Valley. Card Troopers proactive ish. Then I guess technically Threatening Roar can do something. It's not the weirdest. We could also just leave in Rocket as a beat stick over Threatening Roar. I don't hate it. Let's try it. I can't believe I won that game. That was really lucky. The main deck, Caius, almost got me there. And we opened Decree, so... That should be pretty fucking good. I don't know if it's going to be good enough, but... It should be pretty fucking good. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying, guys. Oh my gosh. I feel bad that our deck isn't really doing what it was intended to do. Does that make sense? What it was intended to do. Yes. What it intended on doing, I guess, is what I should say. Don't dust tornado me, bro. Don't do it. Don't dust tornado me, bro. Don't do it. Ah, oh, nice. If we were playing against a real deck, we could Dark World Lightning, Pitch Dandy, and then have Turn 1 Stardust, which is pretty fucking cool. But this is not that it's not a real deck so we're gonna go for caius and i'm gonna dandy one caius two target that guy see what he wants to do if he just wants to shotgun all his stuff i'll decree if it's just the one thing i won't decree chain secret barrel Okay. Chain threatening roar. Oh, wait. Chain accumulated. I'll chain decree here. Chain chain strike. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He says, I am so dead. It's not looking good, but I do take 28. Yeah, it's not looking good. Give him a few mad dandy tokens. Decree. I <laughs> troll despair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice try, Totagon. Nice try. He pops the decree and then... Things will happen. Oh man, this deck is so fucking gas. I love this shit so much. 
It's just so fun. For no reason. This tech has no business being this fun. It has no business being this fun. Like Starbucks Dragon, Boycott Starbucks, Battle Phase 49. We've got Battle Fader. Okay. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. You have Caius. Caius popped the decree. Crash with the Caius. Could get him out of this. I could get him somewhere. Set monster. Possibly a jar. Possibly a marshmallow. Interesting. I'm intrigued. However. However. Should we go for the crazy play or the safe play? I mean, the safe play is just fucking junk archer his guy and then just attack for a million. But I kind of like the crazy play of like going drill warrior, which just gives us more time to do fun shit. Oh, battle phase. Kill the fader first. Attack directly with drill next. He's gonna take 12. Oh, he has another fader. Okay, so that ends the battle phase. Then I will use the Dark World Lightning, target his set monster, and pitch Pot of Avarice. Dang, he almost got me with the jar. Crazy. Good thing Dark World Lightning's broken as fuck. Pass. Yeah, he almost got me with the jar. Good thing I didn't go for Junk Archer. That would have been a stupid ass play on my part. I guess I could have just. <sighs> There's probably a way I could have gone for game. All right, drill comes back. We get. I don't fucking know. Doesn't really matter. Quick draw back. Battle phase. Kill the fader. 24, 25. Oh my gosh. We are cooking. Pitch the quick draw. Pass the turn. We are cooking, folks. GG's? Question mark? GG's. Do you want to play more? Or are you done? Would be understandable given the sack. I forgot about Decree. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we call it? Maybe we call it? Not risk another DC? Let me know. Uh, let's save them for next step. Let's save them for the next time. I'm done. I'm going to tap out here. Gladly we got to finish a couple more matches, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.